Hi, this is a quick overview of my mesh painting solution for Unreal Engine. This plugin allows you to paint in-game effects on characters, landscapes or props with just one single node. It also supports paint blob based collision allowing you to perform complex gameplay decisions based on what was painted. To start painting, just use the paint stroke node which works on characters, landscapes, static meshes, any primitive really. This is what the node looks like in its simplified form. You pass in a hit result, manipulate a few simple parameters and you get the effect of your paint stroke inside your material. If I open the mannequin's material, all you need is one single node, Dawn Mesh Paint and you can use the RGB and A channels any way you like, blend in any effect you need. For painting on characters, your UV map has to be set up in a certain way, like a light map UV. On the default Unreal Mannequin, I'm not able to paint on certain parts of the mesh. See, and if I paint on the other side, it starts to affect both. This character is something I've created for the demo map, it's a pretty simple one. But if I start painting on it, I have absolutely no issues whatsoever. I can paint, even if the character starts moving, my paint strokes are pretty precise. So I'm going to increase my brush size, decrease the opacity bit and I'm going to start painting some lava, then maybe a body of water and even some ice. So let's take a look at exactly what's going on here inside the material. All we have is one single node. This time it's called Dawn Landscape Paint because the landscape has slightly different requirements but you don't need to worry about any of that. All you need to know is that you have this node and you can get the information you need, you need out of the alpha channel and you can start blending in your effects lava, water, whatnot. Now if you're an advanced user, you may want to use each of the individual RGB channels as a mask and you can do that too. I've added a second player into the game and um, I have my client over here. And now I'm going to start adding a circle of lava around this person. And you can see if I go to my second client, everything works. And if I step on the lava, <laughs> that's what happens. That's the other really neat part I'm going to get to um, shortly, which is paint blob collisions. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that all the effects um, replicate and they work in multiplayer. In the next example, we have this wall and I'm going to start punching holes into it. Holes of many different sizes. Maybe a big one, pretty small ones here. And let's see what happens when I fire projectiles. It actually works. The projectiles know which once they can pass through and which ones they can't. So these are what I call Dawn's paint blob collisions. Now the first thing you should know about Dawn's paint blob collisions is that this is not a physical solution. If you want to use this for your project, you need to be aware that from Unreal Engine's point of view, the collision of the wall hasn't changed. So you'll have to create custom components, custom projectiles and things like that to get this to work for your project. So the material is pretty straightforward. I have a node called Dawn Local Space XZ Paint. This allows me to extract paint information along the X and the Z axis in local space. And I'm using the alpha channel to send that over to a simple crater effect. But that's the visual part of it. When it comes to the collision, I have a custom projectile, which is using Unreal Engine's projectile movement component. So you'll see all the attributes that you're familiar with. Each time I'm um, you know, creating a stroke, I'm sending a special tag over to the painting API, the collision tag over here. And this allows the projectile to know that um, each time it encounters a paint portal at a certain location of a certain size, it can actually pass through. So there's a brief period of teleportation that occurs. The projectile hits the wall. It asks the Dawn Paint Blob API, hey, can I pass through this? The API says, yes, you can. And then, you know, it comes over to the other side. Let me just show you this part. I really love this particular use case. I can make the air jump, but then I can also add some really big holes and the air goes poof. <laughs> as far as the visual effects are concerned, once again, pretty basic. I'm again using Dawn's local space paint Local space by default is an alias for X and Y because in this case, because it's a flow, we don't care about the Z axis. So it accumulates paint along X and Y axis, pretty straightforward. In the last section, I spoke briefly about collision tags. This time we can go into them in more detail. Here I have four different collision tags, which I've created for my demo project. I'm calling them AI trap, AI obstacle, AI pit. 
when I use my left mouse button I'm creating a lava trap like that when I use my right mouse button I'm actually creating an oil slick or a water slick so each time I do that I'm actually encoding a particular collision tag here from Unreal Engine's point of view these collisions do not exist or these portals do not exist you know if I'm creating a portal here like that from Unreal Engine's point of view this collision geometry is there and that can affect your game in a number of ways and you will need to figure out how to handle that because my plugin can't do that for you it is primarily focused on things like painting it's an out of the box painting solution which can also do some neat things with uh, projectiles speaking of neat things um, I don't think I showed you the portal use case so let's look at that one yes you can create portals and the pathfinding updates in runtime let's do that one more time 216 I created a portal eject and in this case I'm creating a nav link so the AI knows that it can navigate through that now I'm going to create a portal over here 176 I think is the magic number and it works in multiplayer the client is able to pass through to and fro no problem at all you can stamp UMG text so things like that 23 and it works I have another node for you called paint text at component this is the sister equivalent of my paint stroke at component these are great for times when you you don't need a hit result because you know exactly which component you're targeting and you even have socket name in this case i've created a socket called socket shirt name even if you aren't interested in paint blobs you have a really robust you know painting solution available for you and the ability to paint decals doesn't look too bad either does it this is Dawn's mesh painting solution. It's been a pleasure to walk you through it. You can stamp UMG text, you can paint your characters, you can paint rivers of lava. And in fact, to end this video, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Look at them jump. So, <laughs> I didn't expect that, but this is a great way to end the video. Um, there's obviously a lot more to it than meets the eye because there's a, this is a pretty comprehensive solution. There's many nuances to it. There's many different ways to paint your mesh even, but I'm going to create more videos in the future. So let me know if there's any part of the system you want to hear more or learn more about. For now, this is it. And I look forward to, you know, seeing my plugin reaching many of you because I feel like a lot of games can really benefit from this kind of functionality. And I know I'm going to make you full use of this in my own game in the days to come so happy painting and thanks a lot for watching.